Good morning guys, I am getting ready to go to uni. I do have a test this week and a few other church events. It's gonna be a fun one. Join. Come along. Heaviest backpack in the world. Here's the fit for today. Let's go. Hi guys, it's already 10 past 9. Yep. And our lecture has still not arrived. Not complaining though. Yeah. But. Hi guys, I'm finished with classes for the day. I'm headed home to get lunch and then I'm gonna study. That's a good question. For athletics, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just after 8, um, we got back from athletics, which we accidentally missed, but we went on a run um, around the mountains, um, and it's low jetting, hence the candle. I'm um, going to do some more maths, because I'm writing maths test tomorrow, and I'm going to go to bed at 9 o'clock, because I'm exhausted. Um, but yeah, let's get crack a lack in good morning um so i just want to give you guys like a run through of today because it is a bit different um so today my classes only start at 10 o'clock um, and then I have one class and then after that one class I have a break until 2.30 and then I have a chemistry tutorial where I go work out like a question paper essentially um, and then that finishes at half past four and then I come back for a little bit and then I'm gonna go write my test at 5.30 for maths and then that'll probably be until like 7 and then after that I have a worship night then I'll probably come back and I go to bed and then I have classes at 8am tomorrow morning so today's gonna be a good day I'm gonna go eat some food 
and then come upstairs and study until 10 and then go to class. Ready to go to class. I'm kind of in a funk because I don't really know what to show you guys because literally all I do is go to class, come home, eat food, study, sleep, go and go to athletics. So today is literally really boring because all I'm doing is studying for this test today, tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a little snack break. Got all my books and things here to do some sums and study. And yeah, I'm gonna study until I need to leave again. So that's a good four hours, I think. So I'm gonna be ready for this test tonight. Um, yeah. My sister made really nice crunchies. I don't know. In England, we called them flapjacks when I was working there last year. But in South Africa, they're crunchies. And I decided to come sit outside because it's a really good day. Can't tell by the sun. Wow, it's really noisy here as well, but it's kind of calming. Here's the whole setup. Good morning, guys. I'm literally on my way to go eat breakfast and then leave for classes. It's almost eight o'clock and I'm tired. <laughs> I need some sleep. Section for scandium would then be, as we see here for calcium, just going to do that. Time is running up. S2, okay, I'm going to put here scan. So, the moment you get to your scandium, you're filling up your uh, D block, the D block. Yeah. <laughs> We're at the grocery shop now. It's been a while. I literally just got marks back from two biology quizzes and I did actually pretty well. But I turned around and I noticed the sunset. Look at that. Well, that is all cute and dandy. Um, since I've been procrastinating the whole day, I need to start studying actually. Um, and I just also got a notification from my lecturers, like the head of the subject for chemistry, that my quiz doesn't need to be in tomorrow, it only needs to be in on Monday. So I'm excited, a bit. I'm excited about that because I never even started the quiz and I don't want to like rush it. But at the rate that I was procrastinating at, I was going to have to rush it anyways tomorrow. So I'm glad they postponed it until Monday. But now I still need to study the content because I'm writing about this on Monday. So. Fun. I'm gonna do a quick workout because I skipped athletics again because I didn't really have the lift back from athletics. Um, and I didn't want to walk in the dark on my own. So I think I'm gonna put on like an episode of something and do a quick like half an hour workout and I need to get my body moving because I'm feeling a bit bleh Ooh, I want to show you what I got at the little thrift shop we went to it's literally just like two streets down from where we stay and there's like a really nice curated one and then there's like the actual like thrift shop thrift shop that's like right beside it and there's like a huge second hand bookshop so it was really nice just to walk around there today um I'm gonna quickly get what I got and then show you guys I just want to put it on to see what it's going to look like on because I don't know what that's going to look like um, but I think it could be like a cool like thing to have in my wardrobe I don't know if I'm going to wear it though but we'll see that's the second point I need to stop talking and just get a move on okay I've put on my little low setting lights because I literally don't have anything else because our house was broken into and they stole all of the low setting lights so I may have fairy lights for now um, but I got this little shirt 
green. I don't know if you can see it, it's like lime green. It looks almost the same color as my nightgown, but my nightgown is yellow and this is green. Um, but I think it's gonna be really cute for like in the summer, just like this with sandals. But I'm also thinking like maybe in the winter with like black tights and a jacket. Let me put this on. I quickly changed cameras um, so I could use my light, my film as a flashlight. Um, but this is what it looks like on. I'm thinking maybe like cutting it and making it like a new t-shirt thing. What do you guys think? Should I keep it like this parachute dress that I just wore with jeans? Or should I cut it? Like, so it's just like a square t-shirt, you know? I'm gonna leave that to the internet. You guys can help me decide. I will not wear it until you have told me what I need to do with it. I'm gonna quickly do a workout and then we shall Let's see. I feel like I'll... You know, I feel like my art teacher, like what she used to wear when I took art. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Anyhows, let's go. I'm gonna watch this movie. With JK, that man. I'm so sorry, that's my fault. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a workout. We'll see how far into the movie I get before I need to start swimming. Um... But yes, I it looks it looks good. I just finished that movie. It was so sad. I don't know if you can tell I was crying. That's how sad it was, but it was a good movie. I recommend it. But I need to go get some tissues because She's not going to pick up. Good morning. I've already had a lecture this morning and it's raining and I have a rain jacket. So this is an interesting one. I'm going to go sit in the library for the next two hours before I have a class again. On my way home and I'm gonna go get lunch and I think I'm gonna wash my hair because I wanted to wash it this morning but then it was raining so that wasn't gonna be smart with rain and wet hair and being sick so I've decided I'm going to make a burrito bowl nacho bowl thing for lunch um, I'm gonna start by peeling some carrots you guys can follow the wrong this can be a little like how to make a burrito bowl tutorial okay let's Great carrots. Peel carrots. Oh, 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 adorable! <laughs> now I need to boil some hot water. Fantastic! And a pot pan thing. Okay, hot water, I mean boiled water in the carrot stuff. There we go. Some more. Okay. And then. 
We don't have a microwave, so then you put this. Normally in the microwave, we don't have a microwave, it got stolen. Um, so now we're putting it in the oven, just so the carrots can get a bit, you know, cooked. I'm gonna go stalk your own. Get in the oven. And I'm um, really hard. These frozen butter beans. Delicioso. Um, but I'm gonna heat them up in water and I think tomato stuffies. Let me get it. Yes. In this like tomato. I just poured that slowly over the whole counter. Explosion bunny. Tomato stuffies. Beans. And then the tomatoes. I'm going to have to see what I have about. What are you making? Um, so I'm waiting for the beans to get thawed. Add a little bit of salt. And pepper. Pepper pig. Dun, 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 While you're waiting for all of that stuff to the carrots to cook and the beans and stuff to defrost, you get your wraps because you need wraps for this. You're gonna cut them into little beetle triangles. Tortilla chips, but it's homemade. Oh, and I have pre-made chicken that I'm gonna cut up and chuck into this tomato bean mixture. And I'm gonna add a spoon of this, some of this. It's curry powder, so it can just be a bit spicy, so it can be like a proper spicy burrito bowl. Okay, I'm putting like this much in. Um, not taste a bit fun. But like you can't. This stuff is boiling. So, and the carrots are ready. So I'm just gonna put the carrots inside the mixture. I got a bowl, and I'm gonna just put half of this in because I'm not gonna eat all of it. I'm gonna show you how to make the best burrito bowl. So there is the mix we just made. And I'm just gonna put the cucumbers on top. Ah, they fell out. Cucumbers on top. With some cheese and some plain yogurt, like a dollop of this and like a dollop of this. This is guacamole that I pre-made. I really apologize for these horrible camera angles. I literally have nowhere to put my camera. Um, so this is what you guys. Are. A little dollop of yogurt, like this. You just have to see me in the sun. See my hello, hello, hello. Hello. Okay, that's shot. Now, put some guacamole. If you want me to show you my guacamole recipe, let me know, because it is the best. It tastes even better with this. And then we're gonna put our little tortilla chips on that we just made. I'll show you that. That looks so good. And plus our tortilla chips, and it's gonna be delicious. So, ta-da! That's gonna be so tasty. Look how good that looks. And if you're saying that this is not student time friendly, it is because this took me like half an hour to make. Not even that quick. And I'm just gonna eat it. And then back to the books. You guys probably want a taste test. So I'm gonna quickly do one little chip. Some of the, the you know, the stuff. Some sauce and guacamole. It's very good. Bon appetit. Okay, so I'm leaving in a couple of minutes. Um, I just need to finalize what I'm wearing. Um, I'm gonna, I'm singing at worship um, for youth tonight. Um, so I've just got a face outfit on. Yeah, cool. Literally just this black turtleneck, my two little jewelries, these jeans, and my new balances. Um, and I think I might wear my puffer jacket or a, like a, a rugby jumper. I'll show you. Exhibit A. Um, which I can or wear like this. I can wear it like this. I think, oh, I don't know. This might be, like, does this work? 
don't think I'm going to be too hot though on this. And I don't know if it's going to rain again because it's been literally raining a whole day. And I'll have a rain jacket. This is why girls take so long to get dressed because you just have too many options and they all look good. So I think I'm just gonna wear this. I'll just take the weather again and see what the weather says it's gonna be and then I'll decide. Okay, I decided on this jacket and I just put in these little earrings. Um, I'm gonna put some perfume on. Um, now I need to go because I'm running late. Where are my keys? I need keys. Pop my water, get the keys, let's go. Oh, and I need to take that back. I can't reach the door. There you go. On the, on the, on the school grounds. It's a bit chilly this morning. Um, but yeah, it is a beautiful day. The sun's out again. I can tell it's starting to get turned to winter. I'm wearing a jumper and a jacket to this morning. Um, but hopefully it heats up because I want to get better. But I also really love this weather. God, it's so nice. So this is not really how I was expecting to finish this vlog. Honestly, it was a really great week. But literally just after the clip you saw, I had class. And on my way home from class, I got mugged and my phone got stolen so hence why i couldn't record any footage but now i'm recording on my camera i'm not going to say much about it but literally thanking god for protecting me and that nothing worse happened that only my phone got stolen very grateful and the enemy like i just keep reminding myself that the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy but god has come to bring life and life in its fullness and life eternally and yeah it's bad that happened but my treasures aren't on earth they're in heaven it doesn't i don't know it's like hasn't affected me that much um i'm doing well i've had another rough week of classes and tests and things it's been a good week a couple of weeks even though a lot of things have not gone according to my plan but it's according to god's plan um and i'm holding on to that because god is good he's always good and he's only good i just wanted to leave you with encouragement um if bad things happen to you just know it's not god doing it to you because the world is filled with sin it's probably the enemy trying to steal something from you just to um re make like a rift between you and god i just wanted to share that but that is the little vlog for this week i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you hopefully in the next one comment down below what else you guys want me to film just let me know I hope you guys have a great week and a great day further and God bless.